everyone, my name is Laura and welcome back to the Lust Minerals YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a no mirror makeup challenge. I'm in my bedroom and I'll just insert a clip here of what I can see. I'm filming on a camera but the flip out screen is closed and as you can see in the clip I've inserted there are no mirrors in the background so I'm doing this challenge completely blind and we'll see how I go. I've got my makeup bag of Lust goodies here. I absolutely love Lust Minerals. Their products are all Australian made and owned. They're vegan, certified, cruelty free, all things that are really important to me. And the coverage and long lasting wear of them is honestly incredible. First up, I'm going to go in with the Mineral Primer. This is just the regular one, not the matte one because I do have quite dry skin. I absolutely love this primer. It leaves your skin feeling so soft and perfectly prepped. For your foundation. I've noticed since using Lust Minerals as well such a difference in my skin. I'm currently 24 weeks pregnant and my skin is doing so much better this pregnancy than my last and I think that is to thank to Lust Minerals for giving me clean makeup products. So next up I'm going to go in with the Liquid Pro Foundation in the shade 3. This is the most incredible liquid foundation. I'm honestly so impressed with it. I'll swatch a little bit on my arm to show you so that is the shade and it's just such a nice consistency such nice coverage it's really buildable and I absolutely love it I'm just gonna apply this with the sponge in the applicator because I can't find my beauty blender this is oh gosh I have no idea I'm, this is gonna be a disaster I can tell so hard without a mirror. I absolutely love this foundation for if I'm looking for more coverage for the day or if I'm going out for the night. It's yeah, long lasting, really beautiful, buildable coverage. I'm not even getting much on. It's so hard to tell. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Like I can just tell that's not, not blended in, but doing the best I can. I wear the shade three in this when I have a fake tan on, which I do currently. Otherwise I would probably be the lightest shade. Gosh, I just want to look in a mirror so I can fix it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm forgetting like where I've already gone over. Get it all in my hair. That's alright. Alright. I'm just gonna, I wouldn't normally use my fingers like this, but when you can't see what you're doing, I kind of just want to check that I've got makeup everywhere. Alright, no idea what that looks like, we'll see at the end. Hopefully it's somewhat covered. Next up I'm going to use the Loose Mineral Powder Foundation, this is in the shade 2. This is my ultimate Lust Minerals product. This is what I'll wear for like every day, working from home makeup wear. Um, it is got SPF 15 in it and it, the coverage is honestly so incredible. There is a mirror in that, so I'm going to turn that away from me. And the little Kabuki brush from Lust Minerals is perfect to apply this as well. So, if I did a really bad job with the Liquid Pro, maybe this will help. It's a bit easier to put on than the liquid. <laughs> I love that this has like a little shimmery tinge to it as well. It's just honestly really, really beautiful. It's so hard to tell if I'm putting enough on like I guess that's the challenge though isn't it no mirror <laughs> I 
So yeah, as I said, I wear this on its own. I also wear it over the Liquid Pro on the days I am wearing the Liquid Pro just to give it even more coverage. And just to make my face makeup even more long lasting. What I love about Lust too is how lightweight it feels because it is a mineral makeup. I live in Sunshine Coast and it is very hot and humid here. So it's really important to have a nice light foundation that doesn't leave me feeling really sticky or like I've got a cake face, you know. I honestly forget I'm wearing makeup when I have Lust on because it just, you can't feel that it's there. Okay, I think I covered everything. Right, to set that all, I'm going to go in with the setting powder. This is in the shade 3. I absolutely love the packaging of Lust Minerals too. Like, look how it's so, like, minimalist, but then the perfect shade of pink. I just think it's so beautiful. This setting powder is amazing. I'm going to use... Oh. I think my daughter might have been playing with this because there's powder everywhere so <laughs> I'm using the little applicator that comes with it oh my gosh just to set my base I usually do this after I do my bronzer and blush but I figured I'll just put it over the top of the two foundations today. Lust Minerals too, if you're not sure about what shade you are because their products are available online, they do a free colour match service and it's amazing. You just send a photo of your skin tone and they'll match it up perfectly. Like I had a photo of me with my fake tan on and the shade three, when blended properly, is perfect for my skin. It's helpful too because it is hard when shopping online for makeup and this service does just make it so easy. Okay. <laughs> I really can't wait to see this. I think I'm gonna be quite shocked. <laughs> Next up I'm going in with the pressed bronzer in the shade Cinnamon. This is a really pretty colour and there's going to be a mirror in that again so I'm going to open it backwards so that I can't see the mirror. A little goes a long way with this bronzer I like it and the blush as well they'll both last you a very long time. I feel like I've come way further down than I normally would with my bronzer. <laughs> mm. It's so painful not being able to see what I'm doing. Like you guys can see how it's going and I can't see anything. And then I just like to put a little bit around my hairline. Or today probably in my hair because It's hard to tell. Okay. I probably should swatch that one as well for you guys. So that is the bronzer in the shade Cinnamon. Hopefully that's focusing. And then I'm going to use the blush, the mineral blush in the shade Radiance. This is really, really pretty. I'll do a swatch for you. No sneaky mirror in that one. So it's a loose powder blush. And as with the bronzer, a little goes a long way with this. Like, woo! Look at that. How pretty is that blush? so gorgeous. I am dreading putting this on without a mirror. just going to use the bronzer brush because I need to wash my other brushes. Oh gosh. Okay, let's, let's do this. <laughs> I 
I feel like I've come too far down my cheek again with that, but we'll soon see, won't we? <laughs> okay. This is a really nice blush to apply. I find that it being a loose powder, it's easy to put on more than you intend. So just use the blush with a light hand, but it's honestly my favorite. Just gonna brush out my brows, cause no doubt put foundation all through them. And then lastly, I'm going to attempt to put on a little bit of mascara. Um, I'm just going to do my top lashes because I just, I can't see anything anyway. Don't mind the funny mascara faces I'm sure I'm pulling. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, no. That, that one got away. Oh, this is honestly the hardest, the mascara. Yeah. And then to finish off the look, I'm gonna be using the Lust Minerals Lip Gloss. I believe this is, it says Cosmo, I believe it's number 57. Their lip gloss, the Lust Minerals Lip Gloss is so nice. I want to try some of the other colors. Um, it's just really long lasting for a lip gloss. Like I reckon I can get away with not applying it for like three, four hours unless I've eaten in between and it still looks really nice. I'll do a swatch of that as well. So it's like this candy pink sort of color. Really pretty. All right, let's go. This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. Like you really underestimate how much you use the mirror for everything. Ooh. Is that enough? Like, I don't know. But yeah, they're really like buttery soft lip glosses. Definitely recommend. I'm going to... Flip out the screen now so I can see what I look like. Okay. All right, there's the mascara that got away. How's the rest of it looking? It's really not bad. Maybe I just can't tell. I'm gonna get a mirror. It's kind of hard to tell, so I just realized that all of these had mirrors in them. Okay, besides my mascara mishap and my eyebrows, because I didn't really do anything to my eyebrows, I just brushed them out, that is really, I'm impressed and I will not take credit for that. I think that's the products and how amazing they are. Like how did I manage to get that coverage? Not seeing, wow, really not bad. Very impressed. If you haven't tried Lust Minerals makeup before, I definitely recommend it. First of all, when hearing about a mineral makeup, I was a little bit hesitant that it wouldn't have as amazing coverage or be as long lasting as it is, but it genuinely is. As I said earlier, I live in the Sunshine Coast. I'm always sweaty and Lust Minerals will just last all day, no matter what. I mean, look at that coverage. It's honestly incredible. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really hope you liked this video. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. And also comment what you want to see next in the next video. Also, you can find me on Instagram at Laura Clendon, which is linked in the description box below. Bye, guys.